Welcome to another edition of Chasers Chat. I'm the voice of the Storm Chasers, Nick Batters, along with Logan Porter. Catching up with catcher Logan Porter. Glad to have you back here for your second season with the Storm Chasers. Take us back to your earliest baseball memories. How did you get into the sport? What was your first introduction? My first introduction would have been growing up in Vermont. So I remember watching the Yankee games growing up, watching Derek Jeter, that whole core, Jorge Posada, all those guys. Yeah, so that would have been my earliest memory, probably like five, probably, somewhere around that age. You mentioned you grew up a Yankees fan, loved Jorge Posada. Were there any other positions that you played as a kid, or, or have you always been a catcher? Yeah, so I grew up a shortstop, if you could believe it. I'm a little chunky now, but uh, yeah, so grew up a shortstop and then converted to catching uh, in high school. And you still enjoy taking ground balls every chance you get on the left side of the infield, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm out there at shortstop with Garcia every time we take ground balls, so still trying to be an infielder. So just one game at shortstop in your professional career, you'd be happy? That's all I want, just one. We've talked enough baseball. Let's let's go off the field for a little bit. In your free time, what are you doing away from the field? How do you spend your time? I am golfing 24-7. It can be freezing out. I will be at the range. <laughs> Where's the best uh, course you've ever golfed at? Ever golfed at? Hmm. I'd have to say it's my home course uh, in Florida, Buckhorn, Buckhorn Springs. Shout out Buckhorn. I got to ask about the social media handles. Real <laughs> Porter Potty. Uh, what's the story behind that? How did how did you brainstorm that? You know, that's a great question. I've been getting a lot of heat on Twitter that it's bad social name. It is amazing. I don't know. I think it was I was younger and I was like, man, real Porter Potty. That's kind of funny. And I was like, let's just put it as every handle. So it's stuck. I think I've had a Twitter since I was like ninth grade. So and now you're verified. You can't get rid of it. I can't. I am not getting rid of it. So, <laughs> Look, not to put you in the spot, but our social media manager, Nina, was digging through your Instagram. We got to talk about one specific post that stood out to me. You carved a face. I don't know if that's your face into a watermelon. Take me through what's going on in this post. Yeah, that's bad. Um, so ah, this is so bad. This is cringy. Um, so in Arizona, obviously, it's very hot. And I believe when it was posted, I can't remember the year, it was like 2014, <laughs> embarrassing. There were no pumpkins at the store. So we decided, let's get some watermelons. So we carved some watermelons. That's what we did. <laughs> Late night after a game, what's your go-to like fast food that you're gonna get or, or quick, easy food? I don't, I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say food. I would just say cookies in general. I can probably take down a whole row of Oreos. Actually, I don't know, I, I can. Are there any other sweet things that are that are tough to resist, candies or otherwise? Yeah, it's Oreos, Reese's, any chocolate chip cookie, Firehouse Subs cookies, Subways. I mean, they all got them. What was your favorite sport to play outside of baseball as a kid? <sighs> I'd say basketball. I was an okay basketball player. I can jump through the roof, surprisingly. I'm very slow, but I can jump. So that brings to question, what's your vertical? You know, that's a great question. I can dunk. Yeah, I don't know what my vert is, but it's I can jump. I can get up there. I get the sense that, that you form close relationships with a lot of the, the, the Royals, your, your fellow teammates in the Royal system as you've come up through the system. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I've, outside of your fantastic mother, Heidi, I think Nick Lofton and his family have supported you more than ever. What is your relationship like with Nick and who are some of those other people that you've gotten really close with while being in the Royal system? Yeah, so Nick signed in 20, COVID year. So we went to Kansas City for the mini camp and that's where we first met each other. Um, he was a quirky dude and he liked to golf. So we became friends like that. He does not like doing dishes, by the way. We are roommates, he does not like doing dishes. Um, but yeah, our families are very close. Uh, his wife, Taylor, and my parents are close. They live pretty close to each other in Arizona. I've been jumping all over the place. We'll wrap up here on Chaser's Chat in a moment. Uh, some influential figures in your life, baseball or otherwise, who stands out as some of the most important people that have helped bring you to where you are now, the Omaha Storm Chasers? Yeah, I would say, uh, definitely my parents, um, you know, giving me the guidance and the, what's the words I'm looking for? Guidance and just support throughout the whole journey. Um, also my wife, shout out my wife. She's kind of been behind me this whole time, this whole journey with injuries and whatnot. So I would say the three people are definitely my parents and my wife. 
I'm glad you mentioned your wife. One of my favorite pictures I've ever taken was you last year. Uh, I want to say we were in Springfield. Yeah. Uh, it was on the road. Uh, you were watching your wife's mm -hmm. graduation yeah. uh, on your phone right before batting practice. Mm -hmm. How special was it to, to see your graduate? Was it was it pharmacy school? Yeah. Yep. She graduated from pharmacy school. She got her doctorate. So shout out to you, babe. It was hard not being able to be there, but to have that moment uh, just to watch her succeed and do as well as she's done has been amazing. Logan Porter, really appreciate the time. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down with us on Chaser's Chat, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you.